Hey Fandroid, it's Outlaw71 with you again. I'm here today to do a little more in-depth comparison between the SPB Shell 3D Launcher, which I have set up here on my T-Mobile LG G2X, and Go Launcher EX, which I have set up on my uh, Verizon Motorola Droid X. Now, first of all, just uh, flipping through from screen to screen like this on home screens, um, the SPB Shell 3D doesn't look all that special. There's nothing uh, too different about it, just flipping from screen to screen like that. But the selling point of this launcher is this uh, 3D wagon wheel that they've come up with. Now you can either, when you click that button, that's the home screen shuttle button. When, if you just press on it, then it'll take you here where you can play around with it however you, way you want. You can uh, stop it and click on a screen. Or you can long press on it and maneuver around from one end to the other like this. You get to the screen you want, let go, pick it up again, put another screen you want, let go. So there's a few different ways of maneuvering around on the home screens. Now if you go all the way over and let this go, this is kind of neat. This will, uh, oh I'm sorry, wait a minute, click on that. When you just let it, uh, when you go to the preview mode here and let it go on its own, it'll run through the widgets on each home screen and do a little 3D uh, preview of each. Here, let me pick this up. I'll show you guys. See, it's running through. Those are all uh, widgets that are on that screen. And they're all in 3D. Not actual 3D, but just uh, you know, 3D graphics. Then I'll go to the next home screen. Preview whatever widget is on that home screen. Oh, that's a blank home screen. So that's kind of neat, and uh, you know, it's unique. Uh, there's no other launchers that I've seen out there that have uh, those effects. So uh, that's basically what you're paying for when you get this launcher is uh, the uh, eye candy that they've put into it. But uh, as far as um, being able to use that, there's there's no real uh, use to the 3D effects that they're showing there. It's just it's just to kind of show off what your device can do. And uh, before I go any further, let me just say that if you are going to pick up this home screen launcher, I would uh, urgently uh, recommend that you use it on a very powerful device because even the Droid X, which is a 1 gigahertz processor, and in my opinion is a, a very powerful device, it doesn't run very well on the Droid X. Let me uh, show you on here. The, going from screen to screen isn't nearly as fluid as it was on the LG G2X. There's a lot of hesitation. Uh, the processor just can't quite keep up with it as well as the dual core processor on the LG device can. So, on this device I wouldn't recommend it. This is actually working pretty 
a lot better than it usually does. It usually has a lot more lag than this even. But when I first installed it, it was driving me crazy. So I only had it on there for a day or two playing with it. Of course, I didn't get rid of it because I paid $15 for it. But Anyways, go back to go launcher there. Um, here I've clicked so that you can go and add or subtract home screens. I've got them all up there. And uh, so I've got this blank one in here. I can take that out. Or I can add new ones wherever I want. And there's a limit of 16 home screens on SPB Shell 3D. So I have 13 of my own plus these ones that I just added. But I'll add one here. Oh, and the ones, the home screens that you have up, like if I wanted to move this home screen, I can drag it down there and, and put it back up over there. Or I can pick it up kind of move it over here manually like this bring it back down put it back up so that's all pretty simple and that's a that's a pretty unique solution that they've come up with for moving home screens around and adding and deleting them so uh, but I'll go back over here where did I add that one well, I guess I didn't I'll put one back up in there and I'll show you okay so I can if I click on that, I can choose the color, I can change the color, I can set that as my main home screen, or I can rename it, so you can name them anything you want to. So I'll just choose color, all these different colors come up, I'll choose purple. And they're only, uh, see they're only colorful when you have them in the wheel here. They're all different colors, but then as soon as you click on it, it goes back to your native uh, wallpaper. And you can't use live wallpapers on this launcher so unless they update it sometime in the future for now you can't use live wallpaper it doesn't maybe with the uh, onslaught of the uh, dual core processors devices that are coming out they'll be able to handle um, live wallpapers but for now that's not an option there so I've got this fresh home screen now if I want to add uh, apps and widgets and whatnot I just long press on here and it comes up you can add folders another empty panel your apps SPB widgets Android widgets and shortcuts and let me just say that the SPB widgets are actually pretty neat I do like their widgets I wish you could uh, move them around to other launchers but uh, these are the 3d things I'll put that widget up there and like show you this is the weather and see there you've got uh, your next four days weather and then over here you have morning or night morning day and evening and so you can uh, play around like with this however you want to spin it around I mean all these 3d uh, effects that they've put into this are pretty neat I'll give them that but uh, worth $15 I don't know about that I'll, I'll add a folder and if you long press on the folders then you can make them bigger or bigger yet. Um, I'll make it that big. Check mark. And I'll add a couple of programs. Program. Add all these apps. So you can only add one app at a time. Now once I've got them on there, you notice all the apps, they go from the top left on down, and you can't move them around wherever you want. Oh, I'm sorry. Like if I take this, and I try to put it down here in this corner, and I let it go, it goes back up to the top there. And I don't like that about this launcher. Now if you pick it up, move around the screen, move around the screen, the other things 
get out of its way so that you can position it wherever you want to that way but uh see all those ones follow it if I bring this up here I can't put it up just up there if I want to it all goes to among uh, or uh, according to uh, SPB's plan which I I don't really like that so but anyways I'm gonna stick them in my file now once I've got them in the file folder I can open up the folder and you can rearrange them the same way by picking it up so that's pretty easy and now if I want to uh, show you the app drawer real quick the app drawer just real basic four four rows across and you just scroll down there's no vertical or horizontal scrolling it's just uh, all horizontal down. and there's no settings or a, a menu you can you know you, there's no settings that you can change in the app drawer or the home screens themselves see these are all phone settings except for this one this one if you click that then you can uninstall apps from the app drawer but the other settings in the app drawer are just your regular phone settings they're not for the app drawer and if I go back to the home screen I hit menu see these are all phone settings as well so there's no settings to play around with so I was just really disappointed in uh, this home launcher as far as um, not a lot of options to it um, you know it's pretty basic and it's got the 3d effects which are pretty neat but as far as uh, functionality to it there's um, it doesn't have nearly as much functionality as a lot of the free launchers out there so in my opinion it definitely is not worth the fifteen dollars that i paid for it i don't know if it's going to come down or if it has come down i haven't checked since i bought it but for fifteen dollars what i paid i think it's very overpriced and underperforming it looks pretty and it is eye-catching other people who see you playing with it will probably want to check it out but um, uh, i don't think anybody would really prefer this over a lot of the other choices out there. So that's part one. Stay tuned for part two.